Sometimes you find something in a video game that makes you think, well, time to write. This is why today we're diving into the top 10 most mysterious discoveries in video games. Part 6. Brought to you by Crossout. Crossout is an awesome game, bringing back vehicular combat for next-gen consoles and PC. Imagine if Twisted Metal was teleported to the world of Mad Max and given the endless creation flexibility of Spore. Jump in and create a vehicle from scratch with hundreds of options before setting across the wasteland, where you can play online with or against tons of other players. Plus, it's free. Use my link down below to download Crossout on PC, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, or previous-gen consoles and receive an exclusive bonus pack today. God of War. Ragnarok. Thanks to Alexander for submitting this mystery through oddhair.com. God of War Ragnarok is a sequel to 2018's God of War, released exclusively on PlayStation 4 and 5 last November in 2022. While being the ninth installment in the overall series, garnering as much universal acclaim as the 2018 release, God of War fans were more than happy to the conclusion of the Norse era of the franchise, though a mystery has managed to lurk among the player base after the game's conclusion. As after the game is finished, the player can find Tyr, the Aesir God of War, hidden across seven different realms in the game. A fun little extra that unlocks some additional hidden dialogue for Tyr. And that's all players thought there was, until game director Eric Williams was on IGN Games and said this. I mean, if you pay attention to Tyr, I mean, you, you, mm -hmm. we, there's a reason why he does the six animations that he does at the end of the game. I'm sorry, say that again? <laughs> From here, players have tried to figure out the meaning of Tyr's poses since but has still been unable to solve what they could possibly mean. Some theorize his poses point in the direction of a button sequence, but no one has figured out where these buttons would be input in the game if that were the case. Others have theorized his poses spell out the word Celtic, somehow, while others think the nature of his poses in some way reveal the setting of the next game, which if I had to guess, based on the style of poses I see here, I'm pretty certain the next game is gonna take place in a yoga studio. Cuphead. Thanks to Aiden Wharton for submitting this mystery through oddheader.com. Cuphead is a striking 2017 retro-styled platformer modeled after the golden age of animation. However, some players managed to find something in the game that appears to be one of the furthest things they expected of a game inspired by the 1930s jazz age. As on completely random and super rare occasions for a small handful of players, the game fades to black and randomly loads up what appears to be lyrics from Eminem's 1999 hit, My Name Is. It's completely unknown how or why this happens, and why what Eminem has to do with Cuphead. There's not much to go off of at this point, but unless Eminem shows up to drop some bars in Cuphead, who knew that after all this time, Cuphead was the real Slim Shady after all? Warframe. Thanks to Echo Eagle for submitting this mystery through oddheader.com. Warframe is a highly popular free-to-play third-person shooter action multiplayer RPG that's been available since 2013 on Windows, later released on next and last-gen consoles as well as Nintendo Switch with mobile devices planned for later this year. At the end of 2021, developer Digital Extremes introduced a quest called The New War into Warframe, and one particular moment during the quest has been the subject of content contentious debate among its base, as at the end of the quest, a mysterious entity named the Man of the Wall arrives as a literal Man of the Wall and delivers this cryptic message. It's entirely unknown what the main of the wall said, though it was largely thought to be the names of items called Requiem mods in the game. That was seemingly disproven, however, when lead sound designer Eric Preston said later at TenoCon 2022 that he looked at people's attempts to decipher the words in the game and said no one solved it. I've heard some uh, YouTube videos where they've pitched it up, where you can really get close, but uh, I can tell you that no one no one has found it oh. yet. Some weren't convinced the words weren't Requiem mod names, but it's been agreed by most that a few of those sounds don't match the correct pronunciations of any of those names, or any known existing language in the game, leading players to a number of possibilities. They are Requiem mods, but are said incorrectly or off for some reason. No one has deciphered the words correctly, or it's another language in Warframe that has yet to be revealed. Let's give it one more go. Yeah, I got nothing. Genshin Impact. Thanks to Gilamesh and Torchy for submitting this mystery on oddheader.com. Genshin Impact is a free-to-play anime-style action RPG released in 2020 for consoles, PC, and mobile. The game is well-received for its immersive open world, with updates added to the game every six weeks to expand the universe. However, the Genshin universe already contains more than most players know, as data miners made a discovery in the game files in 2022 that doesn't seem to belong anywhere inside the land of Teyvat. As data miners revealed lurking in the files was this behemoth model of the character Shockwave 
from the Transformers franchise. Looks like Decepticons are about to invade Genshin Impact. It's not as though crossovers are unlikely, as Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn was made available as a playable character for a limited time in 2021, though evidence suggests Shockwave may have been hiding in the game files since release. Aloy, however, matches the cute anime girl style of the game. Shockwave, on the other hand, not so much. Shockwave's not exactly waifu material. Bioshock Infinite Thanks to Jackson Abbott for submitting this mystery through oddheader.com. Bioshock Infinite is the third installment in the retro-futuristic first-person shooter franchise, which is one of my favorites of all time and has been covered on the channel for a large number of head-scratching mysteries, one of which still remains unsolved to this day, 10 years after its release. As in several parts of the game, roaming across the sky city of Columbia, observant players notice if you listen extremely closely, there appears to be a long, low-frequency noise you can hear in the background. And by taking this ambient noise and speeding it up significantly, you can hear this. A strange song on acoustic guitar plays, with lyrics too hard to discern what exactly they're singing, though many believe they can hear the words time, drown, and catch up to me. The singing sounds like a female voice when sped to 10 times the normal speed, but at 8 times the speed it actually sounds like a male voice. the matter as to what speed this audio should actually be played at to reveal the intended hidden song. Some players notice that parts of the song sound as if they're backwards, while other parts are not, and that the audio could be multiple sound clips Frankenstein together, making it even harder to decipher what this audio is hiding or what any of it means. The only theory that anyone's got is that based on the words that can supposedly be heard, it could be hinting towards some of the events that occurred near the end of the game. Hopefully one day we'll determine the speed of the recording, what exactly is being set, or why it's hidden here in the first place. But until then, we're stuck with this creepy discovery that despite not knowing what it is, has been stuck in my head all day after editing this sequence. Please, make it stop. Tiny Ken. Thanks to Hajime the Fool and Just Burt for spinning this mystery through the Odd Header Discord. Tiny Ken is a visually striking 3D puzzle platformer released in 2022 by indie developer Splash Team. The game follows the inside space explorer Milo Dane, who can collect and use the Tiny Ken creatures to help him solve puzzles and get through all the areas of this empty two story home. The Tiny Ken are fairly wholesome and seem to be pretty innocent, with no real combat involved in the game. However, players discovered something that suggests these little guys may be hiding something. As during in the final level, by throwing a tiny kin at this poster, you can open a trap door that unlocks a secret area. Entering this secret area unlocks an achievement called the Milo Show. After climbing to the top of the room and reaching this window, the Milo Show is revealed to be a 3D model of the house surrounded by some ciphers. With some dots on the house that seem to mark locations, Hajime went back through each level and found in the marked locations are strange hidden eyeballs watching the player's every move. Raven's Flight on my Discord server attempted to solve the ciphers by brute force and was able to partially crack the code, revealing, warning, remove intruder security port living room, exhibition room, veranda, bathroom, kitchen, bedroom. The bottom text of the cipher reveals Marvin Air, Con Air, Abather Air, which still has not been solved, though some have pointed out that Air means hour in French, and Splash Team is based in France. It's also speculated that three of the words are named Marvin, Con, and Abather, which some think could relate to the pictures of the three people that can be seen around the house, and all of this could have something to do with why they've disappeared. I guess so much for this being an innocent family-friendly game. Conquer Live and Reloaded. Thanks to Vital Flea for submitting this mystery through oddheader.com. Conquer Live and Reloaded is a 2005 Xbox exclusive version of Rare's notoriously edgy N64 classic Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Originally called Conquer Live and Uncut, the game was changed at some point in development to Conquer Live and Reloaded, inexplicably adding more censorship to the original game, which seemed to defeat the whole point of the re release. And while it's still a mystery why this decision was made, and whether we'll ever see a fully uncensored version of the game, Vital Flea discovered another change was made to Live and Reloaded before its release that also doesn't make any sense. As Vital Flea discovered, there was a bounty hunter in the files of a prototype that when they loaded into the game, made Boba Fett, the iconic bounty hunter from Star Wars, unexpectedly appear in the opening menu scene, with one scene here drinking by the bar, and the other by the saloon doors. 
mightily asked lead designer Chris Seaver on Twitter the purpose of Boba Fett's appearance in Conquer, and Seaver responded it was just an artist having fun, although Vital Flea has reason to believe otherwise. Vital Flea explained to me there were countless strings referencing the bounty hunter that could be found in the data of the final game, such as for a possible medal that would have unlocked after gaining a thousand kills with the bounty hunter, along with some sort of bounty point system. There was at one point a submenu labeled Bounty Hunting, and there's a weapon in the game data named Bounty Hunter Sniper Rifle, although Vital Flea was unable to swap the model in. There were also special abilities for the Bounty Hunter which Vital Flea couldn't determine what they were, but thinks one may have included an ability to fly based on the jetpack on the model. With all of this evidence, there's really only one question that this all comes down to. Why the f was Boba Fett supposed to be in Conquer Alive and Reloaded? Idol Slayer. Thanks to Evan G626 for submitting this mystery through oddheader.com. Idol Slayer is a unique yet straightforward auto runner released in 2020 on Steam, iPhone, and iPad. Self described as an incremental game, where your objective is to run and jump and grab coins as you incrementally unlock new skills and upgrade your gear, eventually getting far enough to significantly speed up the game. Players, however, have noticed something unusually odd that can be spotted in bonus stage 2. As if they manage to get to the very top of section 2, they can see the f is that unfortunately as of this time no one seems to know though some players have reported that after finding the creature their main menu appeared to be corrupted while my friend and hacker slippy slides determined that this appears to been removed as far as the latest update slippy also managed to hack the game to pause the running so he could get a better look at the creature only for it to immediately disappear uh now i'm really getting creeped out one player on youtube even reported finding something weirder than that as the game was suddenly interrupted by the normal intro screen, which seemed to play without any noticeable difference. That is, until... Let's just move on to the next game. Alice. Madness Returns. Thanks to Frankie for submitting this mystery through oddheader.com. Alice Madness Returns is a 2011 sequel to the 2000 cult classic American McGee's Alice, the action-adventure game that follows Alice into a gothic horror version of Wonderland. Madness Returns took nearly 10 years to hit shells after the release of the first game, and creator American McGee stated it might have taken longer if he had been able to remove some content and some other things that he would have wanted. Frankie, however, seems to have countered one of those things, as in the Oriental Grove level of the game. Frankie thinks they discovered something that wasn't meant to be found. Throughout the level, Alice must pull a series of chains to solve some platforming puzzles in the environment, and on some of these chains, Frankie saw something that many players were probably too distracted to notice. As if you look closely, Alice's face changes during this animation, making her take on the appearance of a seemingly offensive Asian stereotype. Frankie theorizes the developer Spicy Horse intended to use this face for Alice during the entire level, but was cut because it probably occurred to them it looked offensive. The development team Spicy Horse was based in Shanghai and employed local talent, so while the developers probably didn't intend Alice's alternate face to be offensive, maybe it was cut at the last minute after realizing how the game's western audience might have perceived the change. Or maybe the development team was wondering what the hell they were working on the whole time, before they eventually voiced their concerns and fixed it. It's still unknown why Alice has a potential offensive face only when pulling this lever. But from the looks of things, this is probably what American McGee was talking about when he said there was a few things he wished he could have removed from the game. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. The Witcher 3 is a widely acclaimed action RPG developed by CD Projekt Red, developers of the also popular Cyberpunk 2077, which despite its rough release in late 2020, it's gone on to be a pretty awesome game, especially thanks to its next-gen patch released in February 2022. CD Projekt Red didn't forget about The Witcher 3 in 2022 either, as they also released The Witcher 3 next-gen update at the end of 2022. It only took 24 hours, however, for players to immediately discover something they knew wasn't in The Witcher 3 before the update was released. As by traveling to the destroyed Bastion in Valen, they noticed there were switches that weren't there before on three small ruins surrounding the area. After flipping these switches, this earth elemental suddenly appeared between the ruins, ready for an ass whooping. After promptly kicking his ass, a portal suddenly appeared on a hill in the distance. Approaching the portal caused it to activate and entering it teleported them on top of a nearby Bastion. As players made their way to the bottom, they managed to find themselves in a dark room filled with nearly impossible to kill specters. If they could manage before the specters killed them, there were two crystals on both sides of the next room that when activated with the art spell, opened a portal up in the middle of the room that simply booted players back outside. Shit. However, going back and further exploring the room with the specters, 
players discovered there was a symbol on the wall they'd never seen before. Players were shocked to notice a resemblance to a design that can be found in another mystery I've talked about a couple times before in Cyberpunk. As the design in the middle of the symbol looks exactly like the design on the FF06B5 statues in Cyberpunk. FF06B5 being a code that was found on the statues hidden throughout Cyberpunk shortly after the game came out. And when developer Paolo Sasco was asked about it, numerous times he reiterated that it was indeed a mystery with a solvable solution that players would eventually crack. Thing is, it's already been years and we still haven't made any progress on the mystery. Players searched the area where the initial discovery was found and realized there was a new addition to the area that they didn't notice before. As only in this recent next-gen update did CD Projekt Red add this single dead body sitting outside the tower with the symbol. The only sign of any possible clue on the body was something around his finger. One last Witcher 3 discovery seemed to finally move players a step forward in the right direction as they figured out that by using the piercing cold mutation, they could actually defeat the specters in the tower, which was the only way to defeat them without mods. The only problem is, is after this was discovered, it was quickly patched out so the move no longer killed the specters. Damn, guess we haven't made any progress at all. Well, at least we now know we're not supposed to kill the specters, so guess there's at least that. And thanks again to Crossout for sponsoring this video. As a huge fan of vehicle combat games like Interstate 76 or Twisted Metal, I was really excited to jump into Crossout on my PS5 and thought the Mad Max-like setting and endless customization added a crazy amount of depth for an online vehicle shooter. The customization includes hundreds of parts, ammo plating, different forms of movement, and tons of weapons, from cannons to laser guns and guided rockets. And it's easy to craft with the intuitive in-game editor, then seamlessly take it out for a test drive or head right into battle. Use my my link down below to download Cross Out on PC, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, or previous gen consoles and receive an exclusive bonus pack today. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And if you know of any other mysteries and video games that you'd like to see me cover, submit through oddheader.com, come join the Discord, or even send me a shout through Twitter or Reddit. And thanks again to Slippy Slides for helping me get the footage in this video. Feel free to subscribe to him down below as well. Shout out to Angel the Fox, Ash Photography, Bitwith27, Chad Biscuit, Combat 15 Bowl, Flex, Grow Ups, Ed Moffat, Eddie Toxman the Bleach Primid, Fox M Cloud 123, Miss Arctic Foxy, Rackman 22, Red Team Medic, Riley S, Robert Eisenman, Rolkot Mifluwa, Starcore 2, Tenryu UERnet, Taryn Stock, Towerizer, Chow Z, and Yan Baneer for their Patreon support. Stay tuned.